Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 15 of Book 7. Now, in this proposition, we have a unit A, and a unit means the number 1, and we have that A measures BC a certain number of times, and D measures EF the same number of times. Given this condition, then however many times that A measures D, then D will measure EF the same number of times. So let's recap. We have that A measures BC a certain number of times, and D measures EF the same number of times. And if this is true and A is the, a unit, then however many times A measures D, it will also measure, BC will also measure EF by the same number of times. And what this is basically saying is that N times D is equal to D times BC. However, at this point, Euclid is not actually using multiplication. He's just talking about measuring, which appears to be a slightly different operation than multiplication. Anyway, carrying on. So let's look at the proof of this. So again, we're starting off that as many times that A measures BC, D measures EF. So we what we're going to do is we're going to divide BC into equal units, the same number of units that A measures BC. And likewise, we're going to divide EF into the same number of units that D measures EF. So in other words, BG equals GH equals HC is equal to A, or 1, and EK equals KL equals LF, which is equal to D. Now, because all of these are equal to A and all of these are equal to D, then the ratio of BG to EK and GH to KL and HC to LF is equal to the ratio of A to D. So all of these ratios are equal. However, according to Proposition 12 of this book, we know that we can sum up the, ver the right side of the ratios to the left sides or the antecedents to the consequences. So BG plus GH plus HC, the ratio of that to EK plus KL plus LF, will be equal to BG to EK. So in other words, this, which is equal to BC, and this, which is equal to EF, so BC to EF is equal to BG to EK. BC to EF is equal to BG to EK. But BG is equal to A, and EK is equal to D. So substituting A and D, we have that BC to EF is equal to the ratio of A to D. Now, by the definition of proportion, if BC to EF is equal to A to D, by the actual defer definition of proportional, that means that D measures, sorry, A measures D the same number of times that BC measures EF. Remember, that is the definition of proportional. So we're left with this relationship which is what we were trying to prove all along, is that A measures D the same number of times that BC measures EF. So quick recap, A is the unit, A measures BC by the same number of times that D measures EF, implies that A measures D the same number of times that BC measures EF. So this is the proof, and this is going to be used in the next proposition to show the commutative properties of multiplication.